Hello YouTube, it's me again, and it's been a, a good three-ish hours since the Pretty, Pretty Little Liars Halloween special. And yes, once again, I'm talking about Pretty Little Liars. Um, so, spoilers, 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 good God Almighty spoilers. If you haven't seen this episode yet, make sure to watch it before you see this video. Right now, spoilers, don't yell at me, don't write nasty mean comments or whatever. People have done it before, but I'm just saying spoilers, just in case, okay? So, um, pre Lost Halloween special, um, it was set in Ravenswood, we were already told, like, you know, in, you know, like, through other previews, it's gonna be set in Ravenswood, and basically this episode was really like a leaping pad for Ravenswood to jump and start off, and that kind of worked, and it kind of didn't, because they had to deal with the girl, I forgot her name already, because it's the first time we meet this character, she's from Ravenswood, and she's like shocking to Caleb on the bus, and there was that whole subplot of that girl and Caleb talking to each other. And sometimes they came in at the really wrong parts where the plot of the liars are more interesting than that to me. And I understand what they're trying to do, but it was kind of overbearing because I really wanted to see, like, like I was worried about the liars wanted this new girl because we don't know her yet. And, um, but they needed a reason to bring Caleb to Ravenswood and I guess that girl was the reason. My prediction for that, honestly, I think her and Caleb are some, maybe they're related, stepbrother and sister, cousins, because I'm not sure if it was the wardrobe department or whatever, but their hairstyle is the same, but they kind of look the same, but that's just me, that's my personal opinion. Um, but let's get to the main, main stuff, and I'm just going to jump right to the ending, because basically there's a lot of stuff here that was creepy. I love the environment of Ravenswood and like, the, the girls' costumes and creepy stuff. But it just seemed like a lot of stuff was happening, even though it was interesting and it was scary because it's Halloween. It seemed like there's, there's a lot of stuff happening and not really a plot, really. But I enjoyed it for the thrills and everything. But the ending is what makes the whole entire episode for me, honestly. Is when, finally, Allison is revealed to be alive. And I'm so happy they finally, since probably Mona was eight, that, they did, that they've done a reveal in front of the girls. Because Mona... In season two, the finale, Mona was revealed to be A, and she was revealed right in front of Spencer, so it could be confirmed that, yes, she's A. So now Allison is revealed in front of the four girls as, yes, Allison is alive, and she is hiding from someone. So thank you, because if it was if it was on the reveal, like, a person by themselves turning around and be like, oh, that's it. Remember when Toby was revealed to be A, he was, well, Mona was there, but he was by himself, and then they turned out, oh, well, Toby was good, and then... Ezra turned around to be A. He was by himself. So I'm so happy that they've had somebody reveal with the girls there. And that was, when I tell you I was shaking and my my hand was over my mouth, I could not believe it. Um, so I guess that wipes away all my theories saying that they will not reveal that. But they did. They went there and thank you. Because this makes 4B way more interesting than I thought it could, ever could be. So thank you that she's alive. New plots. Everything's going to open up. Great. And then, you know, you have Ezra sneaking around Ravenswood. Now, they have to push him in the back because the show is trying to, you know, bring Ravenswood, the new show, and promote that with the new characters and everything. But, in my personal opinion, I think this confirms that Ezra is A. There is no way for them to turn this around and be like, oh, let's twist this around and make it, you know, like Ezra is not A. Because they could have easily had him, you know, have the girls drive them there and be like oh because when in my previous video I was talking about you know um Ezra being a I thought that he was mad that Arya never told him that you know this person was looking at him because Arya was the only one who never told um Ezra about a so I, I thought you know they're going to go that route but apparently not considering what happened in this episode happened in this episode he's creeping around he had on the um, the uniform, the World War II uniform, whatever, with the gas mask. And there was a scene where, you know, he was wearing that and he was trying to hurt Spencer. And somewhere, I don't think Spencer did this, or he got cut in the hand, on his right hand. And in all the scenes Ezra is in, his hand is in his pocket the whole time, in his jacket pocket. So... And he was conveniently there to pick up the girls. 
and then Alice had said that she is scared of someone and Ezra was there and I thought like he was going to say something but obviously not but hey you know like I said in my last video um if Ezra you know if Allison is scared of Ezra it could make sense just like because Allison used to hang out with college people all the time when she was younger Ezra was in college around the time Allison went missing so well he he'll he'll he would have been a senior in college and Allison would have been a sophomore in high school if my memory is correct so there's that I it confirms Ezra's A and then the they released a new trailer for the next half of the season it looks so good I'm like thank you and I know certain people are disappointed with this episode because it promoted Ravenswood more than it had Pearl of Liars but I'm like well yeah it's been promoted that way because this new spinoff is coming on of course it's going to promote the other show it has to that's a part of the whole business and thing and everything but the ending made up for it with revealing Allison was red coat and she's alive and she's definitely alive, you know, there's, and it's showing a promo that they're going to come in contact with her and ask her questions and everything. So it's going to be really interesting and how the relationship, they, I don't even know. And that Ezra is still being sneaky and, you know, certain scenes. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. Hopefully, I hope to God, I hope, I hope to God they keep him as a because they said that this they, the um the finale they're filming now and um i don't know what's happening but if what ashley said is true the actress who plays hannah saying that the finale would change the show forever if ezra is definitely a and he's definitely evil that could change the show forever because he's been portrayed as this nice guy you know with Arya. if they make the most like sensitive and you know heartwarming I guess if you call Ezra I don't know you know the most trustworthy person and turn him on his head and reveal these secrets about him like oh my god like I just can't wait and I yeah so <laughs> what are your thoughts what do you think about the episode did you watch Ravenswood I didn't because I was too busy thinking about Pretty Little Liars what do you think of the episode what do you think of Ravenswood will you continue to watch it I'm still kind of mm, on it I'm I don't know. Um, leave your comments down below and uh, yeah. See you later YouTube. Bye.